Welcome, 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 Be Holy, Be Perfect community. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. This is a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to serve the Lord. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you and give you peace, strengthen you in all areas of your body, spirit, and mind. May your emotional health be well. We continue to talk about effects of living in a fallen and broken world. And today we're going to talk about temptation. Uh, I just want to make a correction. I'm sending out two uh, videos today because I made an, an error and double sent a video. <clears throat> so if you can just pardon me for that, I would appreciate it very much. But today we're beginning to talk about temptation. And as we talk about temptation, we want to define what temptation is. Temptation is an enticement. It is an inducement. It can also be a manipulation as someone induce someone into doing something that will uh, benefit the individual or the entity that is seducing them. And as we learn uh, that temptation uh, impacts people at different levels, temptations, uh, which is lust, is going when a person uh, surrender, I call it surrender to temptation, it is becomes like the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. And these are destructive elements. We saw that with Adam and Eve. We see that uh, in our everyday life. So as we go through, uh, as we go through uh, life in this fallen and broken world, uh, we will encounter different temptations, uh, different areas where it tried to draw us in or draw us away from uh, living uh, holy in God. So may we go on with Psalm 95 and 7. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, Psalms 95 and 8, heart not your heart as at Maribib and as at Masa in the days of temptation in the wilderness, in the days of temptation in the wilderness, Psalms 95 and 9, when your fathers tried my patience and tested me, proved me, and saw my works of judgment, and saw my works of judgment. He say, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, we are most impacted by temptation when we are going through some difficult times. And it is the enemy's uh, strategy to stress us to the point where we look for something other than God because we feel that God has not come to our rescue on time in the time that we wanted him to. But no, but no, that he uh, says that we are the what? We are the sheep. We are the sheep of we are the sheep of his pasture. We are the people of his pastor and the sheep of his hand. And what do we mean by the sheep of his hand? That means that he will guide us. He will protect us. And we will live for the Lord under his protection, under the shadow of his wing, in his pavilion of protection. So as we understand temptation, we can learn that when we are struggling, we will only be struggling with the difficult of life situations, we will also be fighting against different temptation that will try to draw us away from God. So as we grow, just remember what he said in Psalm 95 and 9, when your father tried my patience and tested me, proved me and saw my works of judgment. So what what is he saying? You know, when we are struggling, when we uh, let's say uh, they were struggling because they didn't uh, may not have had water. They didn't have meat. They didn't have certain foods because they're living in a, a desert. And this can happen. We can go and we can, as we live, we can face things where we don't have the finances that we need. We don't have the the health that we think that we should have. But the Lord say, don't test him. He's coming when he come. He will. He will. Um, relieve us 
of the situation when uh, he determines that we need to be relieved. And sometimes it's not God coming, but us standing up against the enemy or making the right decisions in our life. It don't have to be something that God is not doing. In James 1 and 13, he said, Let no one say that when he is tempted, I am tempted from God, for God is incapable of being tempted by what is evil, and he himself tempts no one. Now, when he says that they tempted him in the days of temptation, you know, why was why did God say that uh, you, when your fathers tried my patience? Well, it was because they kept uh, yielding to the temptation that was set before them. They uh, kept yielding, and so God had to keep responding and delivering them because of what? Because of their lack of resistance to temptation. The Lord tells us in Hebrews that he asked, of course, and have you resisted sin unto the shedding of blood? So that means that we have to fight against sin uh, continuously and on a level that sometimes we may not want to do, but it is a part, it's a part of living and growing with God. So he said, the Lord, the Lord is not going to tempt us. He's not going to tempt us in sickness. He's not going to tempt us to steal. He's not going to tempt us to, uh, nor manipulate us into doing something against his will. He's incapable of that. He is totally incapable of that. He don't tempt us with evil. So anything that has to do with evil, that has to do with wickedness, just know that God is not pulling you towards uh, participating in that. So when we are pulled away by uh, these evil things, and God calls them evil, God calls these different temptations evil. Uh, so when we look at this, we have to say, why is God calling this evil? Why is he saying that it's evil? In James 1 and 14, he said, but every person is tempted when he is drawn away, enticed. See, temptation is, in, is enticement, abated by his own evil desire, his lust, his passion. What are those? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. In James 1 and 15, he said, Then the evil desires, when it has conceived, give birth to sin. When it has conceived, what has conceived? When evil desires, desires that are within our being, within our being. And he said, Then these evil desires, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully mature, brings forth death. So sin grows. It's, it's, it's a seed that is planted, and it grows. And when it grows into full fruition, it will produce life. It will produce life. So sin always brings forth death when it grows into its maximum maturity. And so when we are drawn away by our own lust, why? We are drawn away uh, into sin. And when sin is conceived, it uh, birth, it gives birth to sin. When evil, when evil desires, when evil desires uh, has been conceived, it will give birth to sin. So as we Think about this temptation. He said, temptation, he described temptation. He gave a definition of tempt temptation in James 1 and 14. He said, tempted, when what is tempted? Tempted is to be drawn away. Drawn away from what? Drawn away from the moral and ethical values of God. Grown away, drawn away from the government of God and to become a person that is lawless. Now, how can we be drawn away? We can be drawn away and baited by our own evil desires, lust, and passion. Now, it's not evil to have passion. It's Eve, passion becomes evil when it draws us away from God and have uh, birth is sin in our life. That's uh, when passion becomes uh, evil. So God, God don't lead us into temptation. God don't bring us to try to trick us into sinning. So um, when we say that uh, God did this and God did that and 
you know, he is testing me and he is trying me. There is a difference between test and temptation. God draw us into a place where we, he builds our character, build us into the likeness and image of God. He, that's what he do. He don't uh, test us to destroy us, to cause us to sin, to draw us away to sin. God is a God that draw us near to him. He draw us near to him. And as he say, draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. So we don't draw near to, excuse me, we don't draw near to God by uh, being manipulated and enticed by evil or wickedness. We draw near to God in holiness. And as he say, be ye perfect for I your father in heaven is perfect. So we live uh, in a world that is broken, that is covered and try to trap those that live in the world in temptation, through temptation. But the Lord tell us, be not of this world. Live in it, but don't be of it. In other words, don't be seduced or don't succumb to the temptation. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he shine his face upon you and give you peace, give you strength, comfort you in all areas, uh, rescue you if you need rescue, and bring you in a place of refuge. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord.